It's not uncommon for folks to access the internet for instructions on how to correctly seal new decorative concrete. However, a picture is worth a thousand words, especially when you're trying to understand why those instructions are important. For example, using an oversaturated roller will make it impossible to apply sealer evenly, creating roller marks that will remain visible. The same is true with uneven application of sprayed sealer, which can create tiger striping. Once it's dried, you will not like the results. If your concrete already has roller marks or tiger striping, see our video, How to Fix Decorative and Stamped Concrete Sealing Problems. In addition to being applied evenly, coats must be applied thin. Overapplication can be one of the causes of delamination. There are two causes of delamination, also known as whitening. Incomplete removal of release agent prior to sealing is the first, if you don't remove 90 to 95 percent of the release agent, the sealer will not be able to bond to the concrete. Also, if you apply too much sealer, delamination can occur as well. That's because a thin coating will allow moisture in the concrete to pass through into the atmosphere. A thicker coating will trap that moisture, creating a hydrostatic pressure and forcing the sealer off the surface of the concrete. And this is what appears white. There are at least eight causes of sealer bubbling on decorative concrete. The most common of which are related to two factors. First, the rapid evaporation of low VOC sealers. And second, outgassing that results from application in hot weather or direct sunlight. To avoid these problems, seal when the concrete is cooler or use PolySeal EZ or Stamped and Decorative Concrete Sealer 400A which are specially formulated bubble resistant sealers. For chemical and stain resistance, as well as high gloss, you may consider our new MMA wet look sealer. 